there is a blessing in everything. Behind every moment of adversity in your life, there is a blessing and a lesson. Every moment of adversity has those two things. Pain always leaves a gift. Sometimes the breakup is a blessing. See, sometimes you gotta get rid of a man in order for God to give you the man that you really need. You just have to hang in there. He might have something better for you. Don't worry about the people that God has removed from your life. He saw things you didn't see. He heard conversations you couldn't hear and he saw he made moves you wouldn't make and that's it what do you do when what God gave you to write and starts coming apart do you give up hope do you walk away I don't want you to define success or to ask God to preserve the temporary see God promised to get you there but he didn't say how and if you're not careful you will put all of your energy and all of your work into preserving something that God only gave you for a season God brings some people in your life to get you from point A to point B. The thing you was counting on to get you in the other side, the job you thought you would retire with, the house you thought you would have the rest of your life and the storm got it. How many of you have lost some stuff in the storm, lost some people in the storm and it made you feel like a failure? It was a temporary blessing. If it was meant to stay, it couldn't leave. You're in love with what you had and you think that if your life doesn't retain the shape that you started with, you don't think that it can get you where you're going. I have learned that every blessing doesn't come this day. Every friend is not gonna be life life friend. And if you walk away, don't stand there and cry over what was because if you wouldn't have needed them for the future, they would have stayed. God put people in your life for a reason. Others are there for a season. It's very important that you recognize when people's season are over. God put people in your life for a reason. Other people are there for a season. Is the season over? Or have you decided because you're desperate? Because you just need validation, you need all of these people and things around you. You've decided to drag these random people into a new season of your life. You have a boat and your boat is at its capacity. In order for your boat to not sink and go under water and that could be your career that could be your life that could be your personal life your relationships is that relationship over you feel mentally spiritually and emotionally stimulated in that relationship are you just holding on it because you got this concept of loyalty that you have overused overused and over abused well I've learned that loyalty has an expiration date loyalty isn't some open-ended thing that just goes on forever because technically some people don't just really make sense for your life and the new season the mind and the space that you're in it think about this this is a reminder that loyalty has an expiration date you ever been in a relationship with some folks three years ago and then you run into them and then you're like man what was I thinking dating her or dating him and you almost want to beat yourself up for even the fact that you were in love and had all of those ridiculous feeling of this person that shows you right there that loyalty has an expiration date you could never see yourself not being with that person but at a certain point all of these signs and wonders reveal itself that that relationship is over so if you had dragged that person those people those friends into the new season of your life your life wouldn't be going to as well as it's gonna be right now we all have things happen to us in life that we don't address that doors that have closed or people that have turned on us it is easy to live frustrated and fight against everything we don't like we think that it's holding us back everything serves his plan not just the good things the person that walked away in serving his plan if that wouldn't have happened you couldn't reach your destiny what you couldn't see was God had something better you may not like it doesn't seem fair but it's serving his plan when you understand that everything serves his plan then you won't live frustrated you won't get upset because you didn't get your way this person that walked away wasn't a coincidence it was God moving the way we need to difficulties in a new light how do you know that closed doors that disappointment is not setting you up for something that you've never seen the scripture says our steps are being ordered by the Lord if you weren't supposed to be there you wouldn't be there don't be upset over that person 
person that's trying to make you look bad, you need them to reach your destiny, wasn't a coincidence. It is positioning you for something bigger, something that is gonna feel like you are gonna backwards. You have to trust him when you don't understand. All things work together for good to those that love the Lord. Now the test. While it's not good, will you stay in faith when it's unfair? You will believe that God is still on the throne. That what he started in your life is gonna to finish. God will use people being against you to move you into the purpose. We need people that try to throw you into the pit so you can take your throne. Peoples can override what God has ordained for you. I wonder if you're upset over something that is serving his plan. A person that walked away doesn't make sense. Stay in peace. It is all a part of the plan. God knows what you're gonna need in the future. Many of the challenges that you're facing now, they do not have anything to do with you now. It is positioning you for something in your life. You will see how God will begin to connect the dots. Instead of being better and bitter, have a new perspective. It's serving this plan. The betrayal. The closed door can be discouraging. It is not working against you. It is working for you. God will never close the door without opening a bigger and a better door. If you will keep the right attitude, one day you will look back, Lord, thank you for closing that door. Thank you for moving that person out of my life. I would have never met me amazing suppose. We don't grow in the good times. Everyone is for us. Things are falling into place. We grow when it is difficult, when we have changes. The God is using the situation to change you. If God made everything easy for us, we wouldn't be ready for where we're going. God has amazing things in your future. But together, you're gonna have to defeat some big giants of some strong opposition. You have to stand strong and show that opposition that you're more determined than they are. The challenges is not gonna defeat you. It is gonna promote you. Instead of complaining about what's not turning around, see that as an opportunity to live your faith. Keep going the right thing when the right thing is happening. Keep thanking God when you don't see any sign of it. His grace doesn't mean it's gonna gonna remove every challenge. It means it's gonna increase your strength so it doesn't feel as difficult. Now you can handle what you couldn't handle in the past. What used to bother you doesn't bother you anymore. God has a plan. You will grow through what we go through. Everything that we are gonna through at some point, it makes no sense to you right now. But at some point, God is gonna reveal to you why these issues, challenges and problems continues to show up and what you were supposed to learn from it. Yeah.